What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We just got over here to Uncle Mike's garage, dropping some stuff off and I'm gonna give y'all an update on the new race car. This thing is coming along amazing. It is crazy how much time and effort goes into building something like this. And I'm not a part of it. I'm not even in the, I'm not shedding any sweat at all. It's a little odd for what I normally do, right? Cause I'm, I'm normally in there all the time working on it. But Mike and Brian are doing a great job on this thing. It is coming along. It is in freaking sane. Check it out, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Go to turbojohnracing.com if y'all want to support the YouTube channel. We're going to be racing this weekend. We're going to be taking the Saturn to NPK Small Tire in Virginia, Virginia Motorsports Park. Go check it out, guys. All right, guys. So the rear end stuff is almost done. Uh, the axles came in. We finally got those in. TBM brakes will be here soon. Uh, the anti-roll bar stuff. He's got this where it's going to be mounted at now. This is the 10 Soldiers and our roll bar stuff and this is going to be freaking crazy and and working small tire and that's what people are doing that's why everybody's building so that's why we're building it you can see he set this thing back we talked about this before um almost got everything ready for the seat to mount uh the, got a few more bars to add in the the double frame rail stuff and some more supports to add back here in the back but this thing is almost ready for final welding he's got some ideas on what he's going to do back here for the back he's going to put the tubs in it and it's going to be uh what were you what four were wheel tubs four wheel full 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 size wheel tubs and shelf it right there and just close off the back end of the car leave the back open and we're going to leave the back open completely because there's no there's not going to be anything back here i mean it'll be so that the smoke so you can get to it and work on it right that's right and that'll make it easier yeah. and it'll also make it easier he says he's going to put us some weight uh tabs back through here somehow some x and all supports so that if we need to add weight back here for like the back of the track stuff, it should be fine. It shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, this thing is crazy. I mean, mo for the most part, the inside stuff, and actually for the most part, it's almost all done. Yeah, it's just about all done. I mean, there's only a few more bars to add. Go up there and check out this front this oh. front suspension. Check out these custom A-arms. And it took them a little bit of time to figure all the geometry out on this, but check this out. I'm gonna hold this still. That's all the way up. It does not go in or out. <laughs> It doesn't tow. There's no tow. Oh, is that tow? No, that's not tow. No, that's ca camber. camber. There's no camber on it at all. And it is insane how this is going to work. Now, it's got a Mustang rack and pinion up there. Uh, Courtney's buddy, one of Courtney's buddies, is making some aluminum bushings, but he's going to have to mount. It's going to basically mount just like a Mustang. Yeah, we're going to mount the rack back in it and get the bump steer set up on it, and you're good to go. And, uh, you know, and that's the, he'll figure that height out. The rack will come up just a little bit. Right. And then we've got to clear the headers and the motor plate and everything. So I, I don't know exactly where to locate it until I put everything back in the car. But that's right. And I just, ain't no big deal. That, man, this front suspension is gangster. We've got the TRS, um, you know, front struts on here. So those are Thomas Racing Service, long travel stuff. You can see how much stroke on the, the, the arm it's got. It is in freaking saying he did run those down on the spindle just a little bit or just the, the shock that's one of the things with these these type of shock struts I like, I actually like that. yeah you can loosen these three bolts and run this down and then get more clearance um now this is the spindle to come with it uh which we thought they were normal spindles just aftermarket stuff and mike went to put my tbm brakes on the front and he's like well wait a minute hold on with small stuff and uh so he got up with john dot and come to find out these are actually spindle mount wheels uh, for spindle mount wheels. So we're going to actually be selling these. So hit Randy up. Um, he'll let you know how much um, he, he wants for those. Yeah, the so it's got the it's got the spindle and the brake calipers are over here, but it does not have any of the. It don't have the rotor. And this is this is some cool stuff there. Aerospace stuff, and it's got. I mean, it's got the whole. And that is wild how that bolts in there, right? That is crazy. Uh, I had never seen the way that really works. But so um, that stuff's gonna be for sale. That's my, my, my axles out of my old stuff over there. But we brought the oil pan back up here to him today and my heads because he wants to go ahead and cut the headers. Yeah. Uh, he's, gonna, he's got an old block he's gonna shove in there. But these exhaust runners are raised, but so we wanted to make sure that we only do the headers one time. We got those uh, cheap Amazon headers they're up and forward but we're going to turn them to down and forward and so in order to do that uh he's gonna to have to cut them and basically just extend them out um oil pan we just want to make sure we clear all that stuff too i didn't show y'all but this oil pan that we got from jerry he's already got a bung that's going to be the bung that we use for the oil drain back it's, it just so, so happens to set up for twin turbo oh no never mind we're going to single turbo 
So we got the Pro Stars, McFab bead locks on here. We're gonna have the TBM brakes on the back. And these things are tucked under there. Look at that. And so these are not even rolled. And you said the, the hat and stuff's gonna add about a half inch. So our, our track width, this will stick out about a half an inch. And my other wheels, I've gotta get one to come off the wreck car. I think the back spacing on those is one inch more. So they'll, when we roll the fender though, they'll just shove out all the way to the edge. Cause right, put the radials on them. right, yeah, there you go. Cause they're, yep, there you go. And these, that, and that is a W tire. That's a set of tires that Courtney had. That's a 28 10.5 W. And you see, we got plenty of clearance on the inside. And like we were saying, I mean, it's gonna go out about a half an inch. This thing is looking unbelievable. Uh, it is, it is just crazy, man. 10 soldiers uh, rear end down in there. The low prep brackets. It is crazy how how beefy all this stuff is. It is insane. Of course, this middle bar here is gonna come out. Uh, we talked about that. That's right in the way of the drive shaft. Uh, he'll put a bunch of bars, you know, connecting this back through. But the sheet metal should be hopefully pretty easy in this one is, uh, you know, what we're thinking. Since, you know, when you're when you're in the build stage, when it's at the very beginning, you can kind of control how it goes. That's how we're gonna mount the sheet metal. All that from 10 soldiers. Oh, okay, got that from 10, go 10 soldiers. You just the bottom of the car. It mounts like that. Oh, and you just stitch, stitch weld, weld it. on. Run your sheet metal right up to it. Dude, that is pretty cool, isn't it? So, 10 Soldiers Race Cars, they got that stuff um, easily available, and it's already got the holes right, in it. Ready, it's good to go. So, you just pop rivet it right to it. Right. And then the ones that we need to take off, so like the stuff in the middle. That's going to get individual tabs because I'm going to try to run a pan underneath the engine individually up to the front. And this right here will all be one big pan that you don't remove. Right. Just the center of it will Because we're not going to because we're not gonna need to take any of this. And I need to run you know, individual apart. tabs on the top. We're going to mount the... Uh, piece of sheet metal over here where your driver's compartment is yep so we've also got a few things in um steering column nc speed lab go check them out they got us a nice aluminum uh steering column so this is the steering column it's aluminum and it has bearings in it so this is from nc speed lab super 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 lightweight and when we ordered it from them, when we talked to NC Speed Lab, we told them that, you know, this was not going to be like a factory Mustang. So it's a Mustang column, but we got it unwelded. So that's an option too, or you can get it for any of the, the chassis that you got. So this is going to be mounted somewhere up in there. Right up in here somewhere. Okay. Shorter. We'll make it shorter, of course. Right, yeah, because it's all custom, whatever, however he's going to have to do it. And then we got um, from NC Speed Lab also. They hooked us up with the steering wheel. This is a, a Joe's, so I appreciate them hooking us up. We'll get our um, our big bump our bump button over here, and I'm gonna probably put that's gonna be my little scramble, and then my big scramble is gonna be over there separately. And you notice we got the Motion Raceworks thing here in the middle, and that is because we got the Motion Raceworks. Uh, this is the quick release. Um, this one is cool. It's really neat because it is splined to where you only can put it on one way and it's big splines. So this, man, yeah, that's why I've got a strange one in mind now and it is splined, but it's got one double spline. So it can't go but one way. But the problem is if, if the wheel is caught just a, a little bit and you don't realize it when you like stop, man, you can't, it's like, it's hard to get it on. And then I went to that one because at first, my first race car with a removable uh, shaft it had just the the big like hex. It had like six sides. You know, I almost wrecked my car one time because it wasn't I right. When they machined these, they would put a little bit of a step down in there so you could so it would be a full circle. You could stick it on there and then twist oh, it. Oh you know, yeah, right on. That probably instead of, instead of having to fight it like this right here. That's getting it. Yeah, that probably would make it easier. I wonder if SFI makes it so that they can't do that. I don't know. I don't know either. I know if you ever pull the wheel off of one, you want to get it on there quick. Right. No, that's right. You want to get it on. And that's what, you know, getting these things um, on and off is really good. This um, little extension here, that's the next thing that is money well spent. Uh, this was, I just got this. And everybody makes these. There's a few people. I got this one off of Summit. It was just pre-welded. I went ahead and bolted all this together. But basically, like, the steering wheel is going to be, like, right here. And you can see how much, when, when we disconnect this, I mean, you've got a very small hole to get out of here. So, like, on Donald's car, his right now doesn't have the removable part. I think he said something about bringing it by here. He needs to. Because that steering, when the steering shaft is all the way up, 
all the way up to like right here and you're trying to get out now your space to get out is significantly smaller so this right here man that's that's an 80 inch one i guess you can make them however long you wanted to if you wanted to do some custom ones but that's an 80 inch one and i think that's gonna be perfect so i appreciate enc speed lab hooking us up and it's motion wet race works um i'm really excited for that randy's already got one of these on his yeah. And then that way it goes all back on on one uh, the same spot. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, man, it's coming along. It's getting closer. It um, It's amazing. And then once once Mike gets done with all his is doing, um, you know, we got the front wheels. My buddy Carl hooked us up with some front wheels. Randy is not necessarily a fan of these. Uh, they're powder coated. We got new front tires on it. We got 25 inch wheels, uh, tires. Normally we run 26s, but this thing uh, is low. <laughs> it is low. So, and the 26 helps, or the 25 helps with tire clearance when you're turning. Sometimes the 26s kind of get rubby. So, um, but this, the, I think these look fine. These are champion, like Cat 5s, or I think is what they called. But, um, so that's going to be our front wheels. we got Pro Stars on the back. Uh, and the color, we're going to stay with some type of burnt orange or something. But hopefully in the next um, next couple weeks, Mike, Mike will be done with what all he's got, got doing. Uh, what he's got going on with it, uh, finishing the bars, painting it, getting the, the sheet metal done. And then comes the hard part for me. <laughs> right now, I'm just like, like, Mike's like, what do you mean the hard part? <laughs> so um, right now, we still don't have a running motor. So there's a chance. There's a, I mean, there's a good chance if the big block gets keeps getting stalled out. Uh, I have a, a real fast small block right now. I think it would too. All the aluminum slid back. I mean, you know, that's, I mean, we might shove the small block in here and the turbo kit's already done. I mean, it, it would be literally a deal. probably a weekend. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like when we did the Saturn, when all we, we took. Need, all we need is an inch and a half spacer and you can mount the motor plate right there. Right. We don't have to move into any of this. All it would have is a spacer mounted in between and everything else would fit. I mean, it's all because, I mean, it come out of a Mustang with factory uh, stuff up here. I don't know. I want the big block, but we might put the small block in it. It depends. <laughs> um, and we got it. I mean, you know, and the good thing, though, guys, I promise y'all one thing. Um, we are not going to do the same wiring job on this one that we did on the, the Saturn. Works. It works good, but um, Austin Ratley in Fayetteville, Drag Wire Solutions, he just opened a company. He is real good friends with Devin, and he does wiring, and he is going to help me out, and he's going to wire this car. So he's going to check it out. So y'all go check out uh austin ratley drag wire solutions uh check out his web pages he's doing a lot of wiring he's doing a lot of custom stuff he also wires fuel tech as well as holly but he is going to be wiring this car and i'm sure it's going to be a lot neater and a lot cleaner um probably maybe maybe it pro i can promise you it's going to weigh less because he's going to use that that mill spec wiring stuff so. oh yeah <laughs> right yeah for sure the size of the wire the quality of the wire and the amount, the amount. Uh, Courtney, I don't know what Courtney is going to do though. I mean, he's my zippy tie person. I mean, he likes to, <laughs> you have to sell that company out. Right. So, uh, it, I can't wait. It's going to have the dominator in it. Um, you know, we'll move a lot of stuff over from, from the Saturn, uh, all the stuff that I put in. I appreciate, uh, Randy letting us borrow that Saturn. Uh, but, and I'm having fun with it. We're going to race the Saturn this weekend, but I can't wait to be back in well, a Mustang. Back, you have all the bugs worked out. I know, right? It actually it's is working hard. pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's working pretty decent. So, I know, right? Um, it's amazing. I, I mean, you have to do a lot of work probably back there if you had a big tire. But if you had a big tire on it, it would actually be a pretty good chassis car. But I can't wait to get back into Mustang. Mustang seems to be what what is me. A lot of people don't like the Mustang. I mean, now don't get me wrong. I like the Saturn. The Saturn is definitely growing on me as, and it's a definitely a Mustang is a Mustang. But the Saturn right now is just like it's a Saturn. I mean, everybody's like, "What is that a Saturn?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's a Saturn." Uh, he's got the the tube chassis rail car over there. They're working on that a little bit too. So they do all types of work over here. So get up with them. Um, get up with Randy and get up with Mike if y'all want to to get on their list. Happy's car is coming in here next, most likely. So uh, our buddy Happy Emmett, uh, you remember with the convertible, who's always at the track with us. He's got another chassis. They started on it. And so it is going to be finished um hopefully the end of this season he's got almost everything to do it all right guys well i just want to give you guys a heads up give y'all an update on what we got but this is insane the way this is working check this thing out it is crazy look at that it's wild man it is wild how it, there, there's nothing it does anything 
and then once he gets the bump steer all sorted out this is insane appreciate it mike uh, yeah. later guys comment like and subscribe see y'all